Look, man, I know what you surfer pricks have been up to, telling lies about us around town. Yeah. You don't have a clue that it takes people like us who support our local businesses to keep this beach from dying. Yeah. We need our industry to survive. And you'll see, it won't harm the beach as much as you think. We'll get your ass later. Nazis, man. question still stands, gentlemen. What is truth? All of you seem to believe that truth does not involve God at all. I tell you that all of our work is beyond hope if we cannot put our faith into something greater than ourselves. Without a supreme being, we are lost in Jean-Paul's shallow materialism, a world of random objects colliding into each other with no purpose. Hasn't the man heard that God is dead? How can that be? Only a Preister God could put us in such an absurd situation as this German occupation. But Schoen, I don't think we can return to a simple medieval faith in an absolute God. We must move on to a new view of consciousness where we understand that all we know of reality comes from our own mind. And if this is true, does the Veil BC actually exist? Descartes thought he'd solved the problem when he stated, I think, therefore I am. That is all very well to prove that we exist. But what of our surroundings? Do they exist as we see them? Or is it all an illusion? Oh, but this is all just obscure metaphysics. Such a theory of existence is useless in our work against the Germans. The writer's resistance must come up with practical solutions, gentlemen. And we've got to do it now. And what do you suggest, Martin? Actually, collaborating with the resistance and performing assassinations? Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Monsieur Sarge. Keeping your nose clean, we hope. Yeah. Unfortunately, our sources tell us you've been misbehaving. We know of your friends in the resistance. Yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with Father Duchamp's unfortunate fate. He also had friends in the resistance, didn't he? We need not remind you that his fate is the same for anyone. Had enough that engagement yet, Johnny? Yeah. Still. That would be something. Just to be recognized. Father Duchamp would have said about you too. Father Duchamp's dead, you asshole. Because they shot him. I had nothing to do with that. Father Duchamp was my friend, but he was foolish enough to provide aid to the resistance. Am I responsible for the actions against Stapo? No, but you could have at least spoken in his defense. Oh, but you believe in a soulless universe, and we should just allow evil to have its way. Let us save these arguments for the cafe, gentlemen. It is now half past six. Twelve o'clock already, Papa? Oui, Jean-Paul. If we don't leave now, the dawn might be upon us before we know it. The question still stands, gentlemen. What is truth? All of you seem to believe that truth does not involve God at all. I tell you that all of our work is beyond hope if we cannot put our faith into something greater than ourselves. We need not remind you that his fate is the same for anyone defying the good work of the Third Reich. Yeah. Thank you for your kind advice, gentlemen. But I must be going now. Good evening. The raid takes place tomorrow night as planned. 
Do you have your tennis? Certainly. Hide them right away. We might be watched. God bless you, Mr. Sight. Your work will guarantee the freedom of all men one day. Zidane. Already? Yes. Earlier than Monsieur Camus expected. I said narcs, man. They're narcs. The pigs. Watch out. They'll get your ass, too. <laughs> Did you forget we had plans this weekend? The raid? What? No. My parents' anniversary party in Santa Barbara. We should have left like two hours ago. Look. You know, God, I, I don't even know where your mind is sometimes these days. Or if you can even let me. Look, babe, cut me some slack. I've had a lot of things on my mind lately. Just let me tell Shane we'll take off right away, okay? You leaving us, man? Yeah. Just for the afternoon, though. I got this previous obligation. Psst. Yeah. It's the obligations that'll kill us in the end. We're always torn between people and our own little world. Gentlemen, we are at a crisis. Unless we can agree on a single view of reality, I do not see how we can continue as a united movement. Don't you all agree? Jean-Paul, what Soren says makes sense. But the decision must be yours. You are, after all, one who speaks for us. Is this the way you want to have it, Soren? Martin is right. Our very existence has always been in your hands. We can continue as we always have. Yet now you have Simone as a diversion. And that necessarily changes things. She is my wife, not a diversion. And she has never interrupted our work. All right. Go your own way. Choose your own beliefs in existence. As dull as they are. Nothing could be more absurd, Albert, than the dissolution of the existentialist. Now we are all doomed. Listen, dude. This isn't the end for us. You are a traitor to the resistance, Ren. A traitor. Has to be this way, Johnny. Johnny! Johnny! real in this room? Do you even know where you are? Do you even know who you are anymore? I know who I am. I am Jean-Paul Sartre. You are Simon de Beauvoir. We are body in the fall of 1941. 
Yes. You are not Jean-Paul Sartre. My name is not Simone. Until you remember our real names, there can be nothing more between us. They warned you about hiding members of the resistance, Mr. Sartre. Did they expect you to take with us to That is, unless you can deliver us the one whom you consider a traitor. You will be accused of the murder. The two swine made him do it. Besides, Sorel was a traitor to the cause. Jean-Paul has, after all, helped the resistance. I don't think we can return to a simple medieval faith in an absolute God. We must move on to a new view of consciousness where we understand that all we know of reality comes from our own mind. And if this is true, does the veil BC actually exist? Or is it all an illusion? <laughs> <laughs>